Okay. So, last time I talked about my friend. I say last time, but it's only been like five seconds. Because <laughs> I'm not going to bore you with like hundreds of video or a big long video that no one will watch all the way through. Uh, so, I'll talk about. Oh my god, what's wrong here? Oh, I see it. Yeah. I'll talk about another friend of mine. He's a younger guy, and supposedly he has some kind of a family history of supernatural shit. And he... I'm, I'm under the very strong impression, like, the very strong impression that we are us, and we are also our subconscious. I mean, that's like a no-duh kind of thing to say, but... I mean, it really is like our subconscious is stretching out beyond us and having conversations with other people. And for whatever reason, I sometimes merge with that and I can see and feel and hear <laughs> other people. Uh, in the case of my friend, he... I mean, okay, here's what, here's what happened. I'm getting ready for work one day, right? And everything's normal, everything's fine. And I I do a quick little inventory of myself, you know, because you have to, because it, nothing sucks worse than uh, getting to work and realizing you're missing something, you know? So I sit there and I do a quick appraisal of myself and I'm like, okay, cool, I've got everything, I'm, I'm set. And I start to walk towards the door, I'm in my kitchen, and I start walking towards my front door. Boom! My legs lock. My front half goes like this, and I put my hand on the stove to stop myself. And in a moment, I'm still me, but it's like I'm ha I just got done with a conversation with someone. And instead of being scared that my body just froze and I locked up and all that shit went down... I'm in a bubbly, giggly mood as if I have been talking to somebody for a while. And without even thinking, you know, my subconscious must have been having this conversation with somebody, so I was already halfway in the conversation that was taking place. I turn around, and I look at my cluster of hair ties that I have on my uh, uh, refrigerator, you know, hanging on a little magnetic thing. And I say out loud to no one there. I'm all alone. I go, I go, what? That's fucking stupid. I already have my hair tie. I don't need another one. Why would I need a hair tie? I have one. And I laugh at that. And I reach over. I take a second hair tie. And I put it on this arm. And I'm like, what the fuck? I literally say out loud, what the fuck is this for? And I'm laughing at this. I'm not scared that my legs froze. I'm not, uh, I'm missing a piece. I'm not, uh, you know, freaked out by that. I'm finding humor in the fact that I'm being told to do something that seems pointless. And it did seem pointless because I already had a hair tie. Why did I need a second? That makes no fucking sense. And then for a minute, I got like a quick image of a place at work where we usually meet before we go to work. And... You know, I'm I'm like I'm like that was weird. So I'm walking to work and I'm, I'm I find it I find it just absolutely fucking funny. You know, it was just comical to me, and I'm like, and again, I'm I'm talking out loud. What the fuck was that? <laughs> so I get to work, and you know, I'm sitting in the break room before punch in time. Why the fuck is that there? And it's like I go out. And we're having a little morning meeting thing before we work and shit, you know. And before our manager shows up, my friend turns to me, and he has long hair. He goes, today is going to suck. I'm like, why? And he goes, well, it's not going to suck for you. And I'm like, why? And he goes, because I forgot my hair tie. And I think my response was very ghetto I was like, oh, motherfucker, you did not. You did not. And I pulled down my sleeve, and I produce a hair tie. And I, I guess it alarmed him by how 
uh, hooting and hollering I was getting, but uh, <laughs> I was just like, no, you fucking didn't. And, you know, I mean, there's no way I could have known he needed a hair tie. <laughs> there's no way I could have known that would have been one of the first things out of his mouth. It, I mean, he never forgets shit, so, you know, that also is kind of odd. It, it's definitely out of character. It's out of character for him to forget shit. It's out of character for me to bring duplicates of something knowing I already have one that I need. I mean, that's just preposterous. I don't do that shit. I mean, I don't. So, what the fuck? <laughs> so, you know, uh, that was cool. <laughs> and there's other things, too, with him, but I can't recall them at the moment. But, yeah, I mean, shit. I mean, there shouldn't have been any way that I would know that that would be, you know, that. But it was, you know. Eh, let's see. How many minutes have passed? I don't even know. Eh, I guess I'll end that there and go on to a next one. God, what is this going to be, like one a day for a month or something?